Today we are filming the most incredible classic car bar find in the UK. Just found a 1960s Lotus. Cannot believe we have just found a Bentley Jaguar XK. We have just found two Porsche 911s. super super rare cars here now these cars are still owned they are not abandoned but they have been left in these barns for decades let's go check it out and see what we can find okay so what we need to do is follow this old road which you can see hasn't been used for a very very long time um it's completely overgrown like it's barely recognizable now Ugh. and um, as it opens up uh, we start to see some uh, rubbish bike wheels inner tubes cloves there's even a cooker with a kettle some dumbbells to uh, get the old guns going you know an old chair now you can just about see the road appear in here in this opening but um guys this hasn't been driven up in a very very long time and as i walk a bit deeper you can just about see another gate up here this is unbelievable. I can't believe how overgrown it is. So what we need to do is carry on walking in this direction. And then I think sooner or later we're going to see some huge barns appear over here. And like I said earlier, these cars in this barn are extremely rare, extremely valuable. And it is just unbelievable. I cannot wait to show you guys. Okay guys, so we have um, made it to the location and the first thing we notice is this Triumph which is being used as a bonfire. I mean, that is, you don't do that. Now we've got about four barns here. There's a car under here, I don't know what this is. We've got our first classic car just here. God. This has been outside for a very, very long time. Oh, this is such a shame. Okay. You can see that there is stuff absolutely everywhere here. It's quite dangerous actually trying to walk on it. Okay, so first barn. <laughs> oh my God. That is a Porsche 911 and I believe there is another Porsche 911 next to it. Oh my God. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. This is a very, very early one. And it looks as if it's been left outside for a very long time. Oh wow, it is really, really bad. Oh, this is such a shame. Oh, wow. 
unbelievable. I am absolutely speechless right now. This one's definitely in better condition, but nevertheless, it's full of dents, rust, hay, pigeon poo, dust. They have both been here for decades. I don't know what to say, I really don't. We've got an MG parked next to that. I just, I mean, look how bad it is. The body is completely ruined. This car would be worth an absolute fortune if it was in pristine condition. But, I mean, look, there's not even any flaws in it. I don't know if you guys can see that the spiderweb's kind of blocking the view. There is just no flaw in this car whatsoever. <sighs> Honestly, guys, the barn finds really get any better than this. The MG is quite a nice car. It's definitely in better condition than the two Porsches. Again, it's covered in dust. These are true barn finds, which have been here for years upon years. To be honest, this doesn't actually look too bad. I'd say this is definitely savable, this car. It's a shame because the two Porsches would probably fall apart trying to move. I mean, look at the state of it. It looks as if it's been pushed in here by a bulldozer. Maybe it has. Oh my goodness, we've got another car there as well. Let's go and have a look at that. Oh. Wow. Well, I say car, chassis, and it looks as if it was being restored at some point it looks like an Elvis mm, yeah it is it is an Elvis god look at that huge engine this is unbelievable look at these power tools these power tools have been here for decades this place has literally frozen in time it looks as if there's a brand new fridge or something there. It's never been opened. Oh, I'm absolutely speechless. All right, let's go and check out the other barns. Okay, so second barn. Wow. Just wow. I don't know where to start. Honestly, don't know where to start. Maybe with this. I know exactly what this is. This is a Jaguar XK. This car is worth over a hundred grand. Just look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. This whole place has just been stood in time for decades. What you, Lotus. You're kidding. Did a red check. You're kidding. Yeah. <gasps> oh my God. Oh man, this is just unbelievable. Do you know what? I think that's a Bentley. This place just keeps revealing its gems. It does. So we've found another Porsche, and sadly, it looks as if it was going under a restoration, but it has actually got rear damage to it. Again, it looks like it's been pushed in here with a bulldozer. I mean, look, I'm stood next to another classic. Triumph. Oh my God. Oh, wow. And what's this here? This looks like an old Elvis. I'm sure this is an old Elvis. It looks like the door's open. Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness me. This is just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I just don't know what to say. I really don't. 
It smells absolutely beautiful in here. Wow. Shut that door back up. Right. Let's move a little bit deeper. So we go past the Lotus, Sunbeam Talbot. <laughs> wow. This is just incredible. Absolutely, because a Jaguar. Oh, wow. My friend actually has a few of these, but I mean, this one has been here for <laughs> a very, very long time. What's that one there? It's not a Lagonda, is it? A what? A Lagonda. I think so. I don't know, I could be wrong. Guys, yeah. Guys, if I'm right, or if I'm wrong, um, please let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's an Aston Martin Lagonda. So I was right. Porsches, Bentleys, Aston Martins, <laughs> classic uh, Lotuses. Oh my Martin. goodness me. This Bentley must be worth an absolute fortune. It's the same one that um, I found in the barn. Is it? Exactly the same one, but I couldn't get to it. <sighs> Just look at this, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. This is just unbelievable. I hate to say it, but I don't think a barn find is gonna get any more incredible than this. At least it's um, undercover, just about. I don't know how much longer this barn's gonna hold its roof, to be honest. I mean, let's hope these cars get saved before it does come down on top of them. Okay, well, this was barn number two. I think we've got, there's another one over there. We've got another one over there. Um, there's a few cars outside as well. So um, let's go and see what else we can find. Do you know what? I haven't even looked at these yet. Oh God. So we've got a Sunbeam Tolbert 90 there. Wow. Oh, look, the key is still in the ignition too. Unbelievable. Look at these cars, guys. They are just absolutely unreal. Sadly, this one is falling apart. So is the barn at this end by the look of it. It really doesn't look good here. Oh, is this an old Daimler? Oh my God. Oh, wow. God, I need to be careful. This, um, this place is really unsafe. MG there. Oh, this is oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that tree growing up behind the car there. That's the back of the Jaguar. Again, it is just so surreal. You know, I just cannot believe these cars. It looks as if it was having some work done. It's had a new seal and the bottom of the door repaired at some point, but it doesn't look as if they've repaired the inner seal. That's still got a big hole in it. I mean, these cars, they, they seem to be project cars, but maybe the, the owner just had too many of them and he wasn't able to finish them all. Let's step back over here. I'm trying my best to keep the number plates out. I mean, look at that. That is just such a shame. I don't know if that's had an impact or it's just, yeah, I'm sure that has been hit with something. Who knows, maybe the owner had a temper and he sort of lost his patience with them. There's a old gearbox there. An old cooker. 
Is that another triumph there? It's just unbelievable. Boston of England. <laughs> There's quite a few convertibles in here. I mean, I'm not be funny, but if you saw this driving down the road, you know, you'd just be like, wow. But this is an aluminium car as well, look. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we can find here. Okay, so we're outside at the moment. And as you can see, we have got more classic cars, which have just been left abandoned, completely to the elements. Oh, so overgrown here. Even this old pickup's completely overgrown. Horsley too. Rustin, oh my goodness me. We've got another Porsche. 924. I mean, how long has this Porsche 924 been here for? I'll tell you, a very, very long time. I mean, everywhere you look, there is just a classic car which shouldn't be here. I am absolutely gobsmacked of what's here. Look at these cars. Look, you can't even see that one there. Wow. Okay, so we've got another barn. Oh. <laughs> With even more. Oh my God, there is just so many cars here. This is, this is definitely the best barn farm we've ever found, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. And it's awesome to share with my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that wall's leaning out something terrible. Do you know what it is, isn't it? I'm just going to take a little walk up here and have a look at these last few. The floor doesn't look very good, in it? Pretty cool little steering wheel. Now, I used to have one of those on my minis years ago. Passenger seat still looks in reasonable condition. So did the back seats actually. They're not too bad. Oh look, there's another car there. I didn't even see that. That looks as if it's actually fallen out of the garage or the barn. And rolled back out. hiding behind there. Wow, this, this wall is like, it's ready to fall over. It's leaning over like Stu said so much. Oh, there's no car there. It looks like an old leaf in the corner. Loads of old doors and some windows. Okay, so we leave this one. And I think we've got one more to have a look in. inside there. Shame the water's found the way in. It's probably gonna rot this one out completely. Got the old rover. Wow. Do you know what I I love these? The old Viking on the front, they look really cool. Oh that's another car there, I never even saw that. That looks like a little MG. Just, there is just so many cars here. So I think we've got one more bar to have a look in. Stu's already up in it. This looks like it could have been the uh, parts shed. It's got a lot of wow, there. there is a lot. Wow, look at all those doors over there. 
This is a lifetime. It is a lifetime of um, lifetime someone's passion. You know, it's someone's absolute passion in cars. Like, look how old this barn is. This barn's got to be like 500 years old. Ooh, the floor feels like it too. There's a front end of a car there, Luke Stu. Yeah, Triumph, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. George is front end of Triumph. There's a hard top of, of um, something there. There's windscreens, engines. There's a huge array of parts, isn't there? There is, a massive. There's a lot of wheels over there, too. Isn't this half of Rolls Royce or something? Oh, I don't know. It's a big engine. It's a straight six, I think, yeah, isn't it? Big engine. Look at your wire wheels there. You know, there is just so much stuff in here. It's worth so much money. Wow. This is definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, the most incredible place we have ever looked round. Okay, so we leave that barn. I think we've got one more to have a look at, which is just over here. Citroen Diane. Yeah. Oh my God. So this is um, basically like a, a more modern version of the Citroen 2CV. It was produced um, after the 2CV, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It is, yeah. I was just saying, it's like a more modern version of the 2CV, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. It's quite a rare car. Yeah, yeah. But I think it still used the original chassis and the suspension, I think. It makes sense. Yeah. Cutting costs. Well, yeah. <laughs> are those old trafficators? I don't know if they are, actually. I think it's just part of the, um, the door, door frame. No. No, it's really cool, that, isn't it? It's probably one of the most impressive um, badge emblems that you know, they've produced. It's really quite cool, that one. I like that. Wow, what an absolutely incredible place. <laughs> it has seen better days, but I think it's savable, this car. Definitely savable. Okay, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. It just keeps breathing. Just, just when you think it's all over. <laughs> Guys, I have got absolutely no idea what this car is. But it has got a V8 in it. Wow. That is a proper grease lightning car. Huge snake and that doll hung by the neck. That's a little bit creepy. Ooh, I don't think I like that. See that? That doll hanging by the neck. <laughs> and we've got another MG there. Those cars are super, super rare. God, look at the stuff. There is stuff everywhere. My goodness me. That's a very old MG. Yeah. Super rare. God, it smells lovely in here, doesn't it? So, so nice. Do you know what this thing is? It's like he's he's got that many projects that yeah. he's just basically given up on every yeah, single one. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what this is, and it's such a shame. Oh, it's yeah, it's lovely, absolutely lovely. Right guys, me and Stu are pretty much done here now. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explore underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. Like always, I put all the pictures on Facebook, 10 the best on Instagram. I will link my brother Stokes in the description below, and we'll see you on the next bar find soon.
Oh, that's a V8. Is it V8? Yeah. Wow. Count the spark plugs. Stu had a blonde moment then. Be careful with that.